The Ballad of Knuckle Corn Tree Fist, a monk solo guide. The first thing you want to do when playing a monk is you gotta give him a real cool name. Something that will strike fear into the heart of your opponents. But at the same time, your name has to be kind of silly so that your enemies will underestimate your power. Something like... Knuckle... Uh, corn... Knuckle Corn. Perfect! Alright, the next step in leveling to 60 by yourself is getting to Butcher Block and farming Bone Chips. The Bone Chip turn-in quest is really the fastest way to get to level 10-ish, so turn those suckers in until at least level 8. Now here comes the most important part of the guide. As we all know, being a monk means that you need to obtain the monk-only item, Treant Fists. The Treant Fists are every monk's destiny. The hardest part of the quest is getting the two goblin alchemists to spawn in Misty Thicket and the Beholder's Maze. Here's a map of where they spawn. These guys are actually like level 17 or something crazy like that. So the best way to kill them is to log on one of your higher level characters, like your ranger, and kill the placeholders a million times until they spawn. Then all you gotta do is log back on your monk and loot the items, you dingus. Easy. After the alchemists have been killed, the rest is easy. Just use your other characters or ask someone to kill the other stuff for you. Or get a group or something, I don't know. D uh, d look up the quest on the wiki, you'll figure it out. Go to Kara Isle and turn in the stuff to the cat guy. And head back to Pop with your final item or whatever. I think it's a note. And kablamo! You got the coolest monk item of all time, the Treant Fists. The Treant Fists are your destiny. Something I forgot to talk about is fashion. Most of this guide is designed around you looking like the most badass monk man that has ever graced the planet, so logically the next step is to farm some crescent armor in Dalnir to really pull off that classic monk look. But first, you need to get some more levels so those Kly sons of bitches in Dalnir don't one-shot you. To do this, you will need to hire a druid to power level you. That's really the fastest way to level, if you think about it, okay? And this way, you don't have to group with other people in this MMORPG. Now you're gonna wanna punch the entire world right in the face and punch everyone and everything in your path. I don't care what it is either. Punch it! And just because you have tree and fist doesn't mean you can't kick the shit out of somebody. Look at this guy. I kicked this guy right through his fucking sternum. Yeah! I kick! The tree and fists are your destiny. Okay, now that you've hit level 20 in this monk solo guide, now you gotta do the second most important part of this monk solo guide. Get your surname. This should be pretty easy. Just remember your destiny. All right, now nothing can stop you. You are a monk. You are level 20. You have tree and fists. You're knuckle corn tree fist. It's time to go to Dalnir and kill some Cly. Get your crescent pieces and complete your look. At this point, you can kick their asses because you're awesome, or get your druid friend to kill them for you. It actually took me like two weeks to get all the crescent pieces, so you, good luck with that. But once you do, your quest will be complete. Now you look as awesome as possible. Nothing can stop you. You're on top of the mountain. Look for Knuckle Corn Tree Fist in the Freeport sewers. Man, you can find all kinds of things down in the Freeport sewers, I'm telling you. There's stuff down there. Trinkets, rings, a stick, but on this particular evening, danger. So there I was, face to face with a gaggle of drowned citizens. I'll never make it in time to the chessboard wedding and butcher block at this rate. 
I exclaimed loudly to the waterlogged denizens of the Freeport Commonwealth. It was at that moment that a gallivanting barred dandy came caterwauling through the very same hell passage of the Freeport sewers. A red rage of anger and fury clouded my vision as I directed my martial arts away from the drowned citizens and towards this new foe. Ah, what a fine evening for a stroll through the dilapidated home of Freeport's filth and refuse. He said with a ring in his voice that made my skin crawl. How came you to the- I gave him no opportunity to finish that thought. I parkoured off the nearest wall and caught him with both legs akimbo. His blue barred head was spinning. He never imagined someone could kick him with both their legs at the same time. Then I reeled back and caught him with my Denny's two-for-one sausage slam combo for only $4.99. Good luck, swarm kiting an entire zone now, you twisted freak, I sang softly to myself. And thus I went on my journey to get to level 60, because that's the point of the game, right? Just farming experience points, is that's the point of the game? Yeah? That's the point of the game, right? We're all playing the game correctly, yes? Farming ex points, experience points, killing NPCs over and over is the point, right? Am I missing something? I traveled to High Pass Hold, the greatest zone that ever lived. It was there that I saw a group of adventurers losing a fight with the Green Menace, and so I suckered them in their need. The best of them turned to me and said, There is wisdom on your brow and strength in your heart, and trees on your fists. We would be honored if you joined us. And so I joined them, and we pushed the orcs back to the Kithakor forest. And when their leader was defeated and asked for no quarter, I knelt down and whispered in the orc's ear so the demons couldn't hear me. And I said, I can kick! Yaha! And then I kicked him into the fucking tree, cause I'm Knuckle Corn Tree Fist! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah!